Greetings to our viewer. In today's live stream slash video, we will be playing a little bit of Grandmaster Solo Queue with Shen. And now, if you're new to Shen, Shen is one of the most relaxing champions when played correctly. You have full control over the entire game, and all you do is simply save your teammates, make decisions, a solid gameplay. You're gonna have some uh, keyboard noises in the background, hopefully that's gonna stop you, maybe it's gonna help you to keep that focus on if you're going for the study session here. If you're just here to relax, sit back, grab a drink, or maybe you're trying to fall asleep. And by drink, I mean a non-alcoholic or non-caffeinated drink. We're here to relax, right? Uh, I just logged in on my main account and we have been promoted to Grandmaster. So let's find out what Grandmaster solo queues like and queue up for our first game of the day. We will be going mid lane as our primary role. Now, Shen mid lane, I, I do believe, is um, is really strong. It is really strong. And I, I think mid lane is Shen's strongest role, uh, at least from my understanding. Support might be competitive to that. Um, however, I'm a really bad support player, so I, I refuse to play it. Uh, I, think, I think mid lane is the most fun and most rewarding role that you can learn for Shen. Top lane is also good, but uh, in high low, uh, top lane champions are, or the top lane meta is quite difficult for Shen because people are picking really uh, like range champions in top lane, then they're going Darius, they have your, you know, your rumbles that just one shot you. It's, it's, it's really quite difficult up there. Also, you will most likely get counter picked. So, since I'm picking Shen every game, uh, I don't have that option of counterpicking my top laner, and I think top lane counterpicks are the most impactful in the entire game. This is only high elo specific, by the way. If you are still, you know, on your way um, to high elo, so if you're somewhere like, you know, let's say gold, silver, whatever, platinum, emerald, diamond even, most likely counterpicks are not going to matter at all. It's all about, like, how good you are on the given champion. That's how I feel about it. Because like in in emerald, in diamond, it doesn't matter if you're counter picked. If you're just better at the champion, you will win the matchup. Okay, there are some matchups that are obviously going to be a little bit harder, but you still have the potential to win everything if you're good enough. But once you get to that like master grandmaster challenger level, it's a, it's a different game, you know. Because the thing is that these players they they have the skill to pilot multiple number of champions and if they can pilot the champion like eight rocks correctly for example Shen cannot do anything in that lane to him uh, and and it's just a miserable existence uh, what I what I also like about mid lane is the fact that you are not punished as heavily for roams since you always have half a map distance to the lane you are ulting to right so if you're ulting bot lane you always have half a map or like half a river distance back to mid lane uh, and if you're in top lane, it's the same thing. But in top lane, you want to ult bot lane. But if you ult bot lane, then you have an entire river distance. So you have to most likely recall, walk back to lane. Enemy will always run demolish versus Shen. Okay, so if they know they're playing versus Shen, they will go demolish. And they will get all the tower platings most likely. Like you can negate this a little bit by going teleport. But I personally love ignite too much right now. I, I go flash ignite every game. Uh, so the thing is the top lane, you are punished a lot. You are punished a lot for roaming, and in Shen's case, his ultimates are roams, right? Um, I, I'm gonna touch on the build here, like, I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of what I think is the best possible build. I wonder if I can open that message. <laughs> I'm always a little bit scared to open messages on stream. <laughs> uh, we are gonna take the risk now. Ah. This. I said stream on. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the build. Okay guys, let me give you the runes. These are the runes that we're gonna run. We got the Shogun infinite runes here. I've been watching um, Shogun, the uh, series, TV series. Uh, that's on Disney Plus right now. Not sponsored, by the way. I really like it. I mean, I'm, I'm just a sucker for this kind of samurai uh, aesthetic, obviously. You can see from my... Hey, what if we played 
I mean, look, I, I'm gonna get back to the runes, but I was thinking, because I've been running, um, I've been running this um, Ashen Guardian Red Chroma most of my games. But I was thinking I could go today for Warlord games, but wait, but I wanted to see the Shen skins only. Or can I sort this by, I sort this by champion, okay. So I have all the Shen skins on this main account. But you could technically play a little bit of Warlord Shen to go in line with that Shogun uh, thematic. But it depends depends on what you guys want. So so give a comment or something and tell me if you want uh, uh, Warlord Shen or if you want uh, Ashen Guardian Shen. I, I've been loving Ashen Guardian recently. It's it's very cool. And look at this aesthetic, by the way. Got the Grandmaster border, and then the Ashen Guardian uh, red chroma skin. Oh, oh, looks so good. I I would just need a better banner here, by the way. This, this I'm I'm running like this um, winter blessed banner. I I can't run this man. It's time, and I'm I'm too ashamed of it. The Soul Fighter banner would go well, but uh, I don't think you can buy that. <laughs> There's actually not so many banners. Huh. Interesting. Okay, let me go back to the runes. So in the rune section, Rest of the Undying. This is good, even in the ranged matchups. It is good. Then we have Shield Bash. Solid rune, made for Shen, right? Second wind, Overproof. Now, the thing is, I've usually been a revitalized kind of man myself, okay? And overgrowth is, I don't know how to explain it, but it seems to be better, okay? It seems to be better. Revitalize gives you bigger ult shields, but if you're, bil if you're above 40% HP and overgrowth is like, if you're past level 9, overgrowth is going to give you bigger passive shields. Overgrowth also amplifies your E damage, which scales from HP. Also amplifies your um, how, uh, hollow, hollow radiance damage. Is it hollow radiance? Yes, it's called hollow radiance. And grasp damage and all these things. And even though this is stronger in the early game, it's not much. I mean, it's not much stronger, but um, it is. It is stronger. I don't think you can get an enough of an advantage with revitalize to justify dropping overgrowth. And if you look at you know, rune wind rates, which are not a good indicator of rune strength, by the way. They're just not. They are very biased. Overgrowth seems to have a 54% win rate, and revitalize is 51%, but revitalize is more popular, so that will tend to bring the, bring the win rate down. But I've just been running overgrowth recently, and it's been working well. Then we have cheap shot here. Solid. I've experimented a lot with Taste of Blood, but now I want to just stick to one rune page and not sway, switch it out at all. At all. At all. Uh, and the reason for this is that I believe that there is a lot of kind of strength to be gained by um, sticking to one rune page and also one build. Even though I'm not like an advocate of cookie cutter builds, because I think at the end of the day, like uh, league itemization is always going to be situational because you have to adapt to the enemy team composition and the flow of the game. But if you can have like the same kind of options, like you you have like for example two different builds that you go into, and you have the same rune page and same starting item every game, then you're gonna have much more kind of information uh, about and also like memory. I, I'm not gonna say muscle memory because it's not really muscle memory, but it's more like intuitive understanding of like 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 a visceral intuitive understanding of how much damage you will do in a given trade because you're running the same runes running the same items so you know that okay i'm level three i have doran shield i have gained 30 health from health scaling i have my flat 65 health i have my 5 ad from adaptive force i got my cheap shot of cooldown i have shield bash i'm gonna do exactly this amount of damage that's just gonna benefit you you more than the kind of situational, uh, like theoretical hyper optimization of okay, in this matchup I won't be able to trigger cheap shot as much, so I'm gonna go taste the blood to get more HP here. Uh, I don't think that's actually valuable, especially if you are like still on your way to high elo. 
That's the, that's the expression I will use, by the way. There is no such thing. That you are never low elo, okay? You are, you are never low elo. You are just on your way to high elo. That's how I would like to think about it. But yeah, this is the room page. We're gonna go into the item section here. Run it, run it down a little bit. <laughs> run it back. <laughs> so, by the way, these means just uh, these are the spawn timers of the first plants, uh, roughly. You know, so you can expect the first outer blast code to be there at five minutes to five thirty. First honey fruit will be in river. The outer honey fruit will be there in um, six minutes six thirty, and first crying bloom in case you need that is three minutes three thirty. We can touch on the items in game. I, I will say I'm running, if you see here, Hollow Radiance, Dead Man's Blade. Those are my first two completed items in most games these days. Hopefully get mid lane. Nice, we got mid lane. Perfect. Okay. I will um, top swap after bench. I will say this, because now I can ban my mid lane champion. Top lane is gonna ban a top lane champion. I'm gonna swap roles with the top laner. Uh, and at that point, um, look, I'm gonna ban Ari here because Ari is the most popular mid laner and it's quite a difficult matchup for Shen. Then what it will look like is. Ipados. <laughs> I am not familiar with. This is like RU in GA. We. Yes. Madre. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea about French abbreviations, right? I studied French for two years. And now we swap, okay? So, now it's gonna look like... Wait, Krug has declined the swap. Yeah, no, there we go. Undercover. So now it's gonna look like I banned Rek'Sai, which is now top lane champion. Rek'Sai top lane is, like, uh, strong. I mean, he has Warmox and W. And it's gonna look like Nidali banned uh, Ari. So they're gonna think I am top lane, and they're gonna think Nidali is mid lane. Okay, so this will confuse the enemy counter picks a little bit. When I pick Shen here, I mean, the thing is, Nidali is a bad example, right? If this was a more traditional top laner or something like, you know, Cassiopeia or, or something that can play both mid lane and top lane, then they would definitely think that this is mid lane and I'm top lane, but Nidali is a bit of a different champion. I still have a little bit left over from my uh, breakfast smoothie. I always make this with my girlfriend, so it has uh, two bananas. This is for two people, by the way. Two bananas, uh, four scoops of oatmeal. What matchup do we get? Uh, it's like Yone matchup mid lane. I like that, actually. I like that. Uh, four scoops of oatmeal, two bananas, strawberries or blueberries. Uh, then we put some protein powder in there. A little bit of peanut butter. Uh, am I missing something? Oh yeah, then Greek yogurt and uh, some oat milk. And then you blend it all together and that's a solid breakfast smoothie. I'm not going to comment it so much in game. I am simply going to focus on the gameplay. I hope you guys can too. Smoothie finished. Hands warmed up. By the way, someone in the chat just called me a Swedish streamer. I can't believe it. There is a difference. There is a big difference between Finland and Sweden. Okay, listen here, little buddy. Listen here, okay. This time you call me Sweden, I'm going to show you what it really means to be a Finn, okay? <clears throat> I mean, surely it's not Ezreal mid lane, right? That's a little bit difficult matchup for me. I'm pretty sure it's Yone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's Yone. Don't necessarily want to invade because I want to have Q level one for Yone matchup. <sighs> Teleportation technique. Interesting.
Oh wait, really? The counter swap or something? That's fine. They're just covering the invite. Zach Spings here. Is this normal, guys? <laughs> Hello there. flash there to stop his damage because he would get Q and I would not be able to retaliate. It's gonna save me 200 HP, which is gonna mean the difference here. Sorry guys, that was really bad. I wasn't supposed to take the tower shots. Yeah. It is what it is, happens. It was a good trade, anyways. Got it. Just need to don't die to Lilia gank. No, here we go. I'm gonna go for a round here. Need a little spear. Wave is gonna push towards me. Just need to go into a safe location to recall. My heart is beating. Man. Okay, that's good. Go early winged moon play there. I want to engage because no knowledge of Lilia. Ah, 
Ah, I didn't get the other record. very close to me killing Yone. Unfortunately, Senna healed. A recall here. Get Ionian Boots of Lucidity for first ultimate and flash. Second flash technically, but... Protected scuttle crab. He's my friend. Okay. I got hit by that. That's my bad. Oh, he's everyone mid lane. What is going on here? Ultimate to get back to land. So I go. I did a little double ignite there because I wasn't sure if like the first ignite would not kill anyways. I thought maybe my second invite ignite would. Like the extension.
Jenna is gonna be here. Fuck the whole combo. <laughs> this needle is a monster. It destroyed fear, I got the tower as well. Dead mass plates, I will ult them. Move in so that Senna Q doesn't reach Nidali if she tries to cast it. I tried to look for Senna there, she wasn't. Bummy Cinder here. Ocean Drake is up. I could just go there. doesn't want to do objectives it seems. <laughs> I 
Oh, it's in the game again to heal. Because I just needed one out that can ignite, but I didn't to ignite earlier. <laughs> I just not tried to dive, man. Janna ultimate was so bad. Like, like, man, like, Lilia was already taunted. Janna ultimate just puts her so much closer to the tower. But it's my bad, like, that I made the mistake of dying. <sighs> oh, well. Kind of, kind of upset about my mistake there. I treat, like for example, like that's a Yanna mistake, like for the whole thing. But I treat it as something that just happens on the game dynamics. Like it's not it's not like a player decision, right? Because I consider that the only decisions that are player decisions are stuff that I can do. And sometimes like stuff then, then that can like be done by the enemy. So stuff that I can manipulate from enemy decision making point of view. But my teammates decision making, I just consider that to be some random AI like noise. That just like sometimes like stuff happens and a mistake happens and then I just have to be able to play that situation. Um, so that way I cannot get tilted by my teammates decisions because there are no teammates and there are no decisions, if that makes sense. Beautiful Swainy. Okay, that's the first game done. So The problem with morning queue is that if I queue up immediately, there's most likely gonna be some of the same players in the game, right? And that might mean that they might target Ban Shen. I know it's a scummy thing to do, but uh, Grandmaster players will do anything for LP, so they might, they might Ban Shen. And if that happens, I will dodge the game and we will just wait out the dodge timer. That's how it is. Um, the other al uh, alternative is to like take two minute break. And, and not queue up for two minutes, so most likely the players who just perma queue up again after the game will like uh, not be in the same queue. So then uh, the problem is that it's just the, the wait time is a little bit longer than expected. I haven't had many target bans, but that's mostly because I've actually been waiting after after a game. But there is one like alternate, like I feel like there are like three three strategies. So you can queue up like normally. So you would. Look at your match, you look, look at your damage done, look at your LP gain, and then you're like, okay, should I play another one? Let's play another one. And then you queue up, okay? And that will take you on average like maybe 20 seconds uh, after the match has ended that you queue up, or 25 seconds or something. So that's one way, and I think that's the worst way. Worst way. Then the second way is what I described, wait two minutes and then queue up to dodge those players. But the third way is to insta-queue up so fast that the opponents might like be too slow as well um so that's what i tried to do there you don't have to be afraid of me <laughs> you back my lps Okay, they didn't ban Ahri. Of 
superior judgment. 17-4-0, first game of the day, 0 5 zero, second. I'm depressed. Stoic mental. I wanted to first pick Shen here because there were previous game players, previous match players in this lobby. So in case the enemy top lane wants to do a trickaroo and pick Shen away from me, I will first pick Shen. <laughs> I can't enjoy getting, okay. <laughs> okay, buddy. Nice. Little bit of confusion, never hurt nobody. Right? I'm just always trying to make my team confuse the bans as much as possible to deny enemy information. It's the small things that count. If I do this every champion select, I'm gonna win one champion select draft based on this. And that's gonna give me a little bit more league points. <laughs> I know, I know for a fact, you know, when I'm talking about enemies will, you know, target ban and they will take away your champion and they will do all these tricks. I know for a fact because I'm that guy. I'm him. <laughs> I, I, I will confuse bans and I will do everything I can in champion sector to gain an advantage. <laughs> Most likely Velkos mid lane, actually. That's going to be a very interesting matchup. I have not played this this season. It's Muggy Felix. Holy shit. We have Mu It's Muggy Felix. This guy this guy is the best solo queue player in Western world. Literally. Oh, we have oh I love it. Okay. I gotta focus up. Mid lane matchup versus the best solo queue player in Western world. And he's mid lane main as well. I don't know. I, I like and when I do this for Smuggy Felix, the guy just knows. The guy just knows for some reason. He always knows. I know it's I know it's a bait, but I don't care. <laughs> Look, this is what I mean, guys. I wanted to show you this. I just needed to like the thing is, this guy he 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 is so good, man. Like he knows. You, you know what he did there? He on purpose walks out of the bush to bait me into e flashing, and I know it's gonna happen, but I want to show it to you guys anyways because this guy. It, he's so he's so good at solo queue, man. He, it's so crazy. Like, do you, is there anyone else that would ping this counter gank, right? I have not even played versus him this season. He just knows me from previous seasons that I will do this invade, by the way. Like, he just knows me as a, like, a, like a solo queue person, right? And he will walk out of the bush to bait me into going. I know there's five people there. That's why E-Flash on top of it like that. I mean, our level one wasn't good. So, so we don't win that, but like... It's still like I, I I I really want you guys to enjoy like this guy. Like he's he's so good at the game. I'm really fanboying over him, but let's play.
down. He's hitting everything. What? <laughs> Bro, what? I don't know, man. I like the minion would have died and get level 3. That's why I was trying to walk in. I love playing with good players. It's it's actually so much fun. Cause it makes you really like in like dude, I don't know how to explain it, but it makes you feel like there is so much to improve still. Cause, cause like you you just see what good players are capable of, right? And you know that you are not at that level yet, till you're there. Slow down Lilia on the counter gank. I will ping it now. With steps. Look how he places his. What? I didn't even get the block. Look how he places his E when I'm about to go for the cannon minion, right? It's not astrophysics, but it's just solid gameplay. Goes for a beautiful rom. It's another kill. What? But I don't I didn't think that would execute. That's my bad bro. I legit don't think that will execute, right? Like he had 200 HP or something. It just killed him. Flat out. I better my cogmother. Our wills align. I can't stop fighting. I can't walk up versus this guy. He's touching my empire cues, man. The reason why I don't flash is because I know he will react with flash that.
you know why? Like Maggie Felix only player that dodges Shen and Bard cues like that because he plays Shen himself as well. I actually learned from his Shen as well by watching. There is 6 and 1, but Kogmo is doing still fine. E flash there because he ghosts. I won't catch him with normally. Even to really ask because he's a good player. He didn't die. There's no way. This guy flashes as well. <laughs> Man, I can't believe it, but it just it what happens when you have Maggie Felix on your team, bro. He plays with movement speed, man. Like he's he's buying so much time for his team, by the way.
What? He's trying to bait my taunt. Because Rayleigh's there, like... <laughs> it's just no other player does this, man, I swear. You can just see he's some different caliber. Believe it, man. And she's really. <laughs> oh. Damn, he's so good. It's so crazy. <sighs> I love playing with this guy. Actually, I will get. There's no way wins. That will go by me. What are we gonna do there? His auto attacks are faster than normal, so I'm missing my W. My talent. Okay, Fiora got it. I was just too short.
I thought I would be able to just chill out a little bit because the thing is, see, uh, Zeri has flash, right? So I can't. And also, like, if I E flash Kogma with nothing out of that range, and Velgos is gonna kill me. I don't know. Maybe I need to pull the trigger harder. Next, next fight I will. I need some armor though. By that, I'm dead. <laughs> nice try, Kogmov. <laughs> Zeri did stuff. <laughs> well, my Nova doesn't count here anymore. I mean, it's well played to enemy. I mean, obviously, I, I lost that game, right? Like, it's yeah, all of my decisions led up to that moment. Like, the thing is, like, starting from level one, right? I wanted to not go for the invade. I, I pinged my team back. Um, once we committed for it, I was like, okay, let's go for it, whatever. But the thing is that guy is he, he is he is unreal. Like he will do stuff like that. Everything just kind of like I'm not saying I play good, like I played pretty bad, but I don't know, Maggie Felix is he is not human. He is like if I like honestly he's my idol like in Solar Queue, because I, I want to be like one trick pony, but Maggie Felix like mechanics and decision making. Uh, and his mental resilience as well. It's just unlike any other player in Solar Queue. It's it's always a pleasure to play versus him or with him. It's it's so fun to see, because because you can just tell like it's not it's not typical solo queue player. Like there's such a huge difference. It's it's so crazy actually.
<laughs> I mean, like, I should just I should have trusted my gut instinct. Like, there's no way that that caliber of a player gets caught by this in red. Like you, you see, you saw my back pings, but after watch, I, I just just call it a day. Hmm. Look at look at this on purpose. He does it on purpose. I mean, it looks so obvious in hindsight, right? But it's genius. It it is it is genius. Like he's like taunting me, and he he lives inside my head in that game, by the way. Our level 1 is just much weaker than theirs Because we have two single damage champions, right? They have they have Lilia, they have Rex, I knock up, they have Velgos, Rel Yeah, it's <laughs> the answer as well, yeah Then this solo, solo death is really bad, but it, the mistake is done earlier, like... Like the first taunt is the mistake actually, that's the, taunt, that's the mistake. Like I should not just foolishly throw it out, like I need to be sure that I will hit him. But wait, but I feel like it was like... Microwise, like it was like a good opportunity to go for it, like I had a reason to... Oh wait, no, it, it wasn't low HP enough, I should wait for the next auto deck. I need to, uh, yeah, I need to E in when he casts an ability. Like Q, for example. Bro, hit every single spell. Dear. And just here, look, because look, I thought Cannon Minion will kill this minion, right? That's why I'm moving towards, but Cannon Minion did <laughs> Cannon Minion did 180, I just died. And then we have no minions left to kill this. Yeah. I mean super well played by him. Pika is a mid lane. Well, it's always refreshing to see that guy. But let's work on our own gameplay. Like we have Sona and Vayne, one trick on their champion. And Challenger Jungler. And out of field top lane playing the best champion possible, Malfight. Versus for immobiles. I mean I guess action is not really immobile, but it is in a way. I think we have a good chance in this game. What do you ban when you play sh they ban Shen? I dodge the game. Hmm. I wonder if it is Kaiser top lane. Yo, you're up thanks for the $20. Hi, Pedro, I love your videos. Can't wait until you reach 1 million. Take my friggin' money. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Action matchup is quite difficult. 
Guys, I have not played. I'm playing standing up, by the way, nowadays, like always standing up. So the idea here is that um, I am forced to take breaks because I will feel, feel tired at some point. But if you're sitting down, like the equilibrium is putting you... Words. I'm gonna do something dumb here. Seems this guy's a top line. Don't trade into his shield, just take the short trade with Crasp. Oi! Die, he got it. Couldn't get in range, I was blocked by minions. It's a tough match. Press the attack truck. The walker TP. I don't actually know. I should check the tower. Yes, overstayed. Well, it's not that bad. They both blow flash.
Fine by me. Why are we not tunneling? Yes. <sighs> Perfectly played. Perfectly played and I saved the wave. Yes, man. Yes. <gasps> you see me, don't you? That <sighs> and I kept my flash, by the way. Through all that, I kept my flash. Jimmy Hendrix sends the five dollars, man. Appreciate it. Slow. Why is this guy so fast? I have tier 2 boots and winged moonplate. The guy still runs faster than me. Chill. Lock it on tower. They're shooting everything at me. <laughs> this is what happens when they put top laner champion middle. 
Cause normal mage cannot take the tower, but this guy just bum 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 bum. It's going. Oh yeah, it's eclipse first item, but what wait? It's kind of AD heavy. Guys, a bit no. I thought she would go AP, but. No mana. Component budget to build. Peter, thanks for the uh, 10 bucks, appreciate it, or sorry, pounds, bot plane was too clean, thank you sir. Charlie, I can't play. This is not good. <laughs> Wait, Malphite just pulled the jigs. The guy just said bomb or clap. Why is on a text?
really, I got hit by that. Normal guys are damaged, I suppose. What? Hey, how fat is that hitbox? It's not normal that I dodge like that, that it hits me. Just a little bit too much damage. I'm too low for this play. Malphite Bumper Club I can't kill anyone They're both on HP No. The fights are super awkward man They are really awkward to fight I don't think we are strong Like they have such good I don't know What, what, what it is with their comp but they are like somehow much stronger I think Son and Vayne just need to scale a little bit. Vayne is like low range versus these guys. I wasted my flash there. The problem is I can't just blindly engage because I have to wait for Talia E to go down before. Get the knock up. I want to see if um, Kaiser Woods. My train just died. Why? No modified ultimate, he's useless. Ocean Drake is theirs.
I think the range difference is why we are losing the fights. But we should technically get there, like... I mean, Jinx is a hyper carry, right? So that's not good. Need to hold on for a little bit longer. I think Warden's mail is good, this guy. Vain Rico, pretty good Vain Rico. So I just died. It went stuff of flowing water. I mean, I guess it's yeah, it makes sense. Play with Wayne. They might, they, they could be able to take Baron here. Jimmy Hendrix with 5 bucks. Jungle Guardian Zombie Ward Ultimate Hunter Tiamat Bami Hexblade Stride Breaker Radiance Jack Shot. Uh, interesting. Stride. Stride Breaker is good. I don't know about Hexblade. I mean, I like the idea in jungle. Yep, don't fight, don't fight. I should be silent. Yeah. Really insane objective bounty spree. Big big turn right here, big turn. This guy has he doesn't have frozen heart. I could actually go frozen heart. I think in this game it's good.
Okay, we need to stall. He had good steal opportunity. I think that's the best we can get. Pain died. We can't fight. We have no follow up. And just dies again. Unless. Bro's cooking. Bro's on the gear. <gasps> Never mind. My vein. My vein. Go for a night spell. Wait, meant to die. Three meatballs in a sauna.
we can't contest it. Okay, I'm all hard doing stuff. Beautiful condom. Tali ahí.
Why does Vayne recall now? You had you had literally two minutes to set up for this Drake, and you recall now. God, I don't understand. What is this? Guys? Guys? Guys, like, what is going on? have two minutes to recall for the Elder Drake, but you choose to stay every single time in bot lane and then recall when we have 10 seconds on spawn. <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? Honestly. I might have made a mistake. <laughs> I didn't think they had Elder Buff still. They have both buffs. Do something, otherwise, we're just gonna lose the game. That is, it's, it's criminal honestly, like the vein recall was so criminal. Jimmy, Jimmy is explaining his uh, ultimate hunter uh, Giga Shen jungle build. Uh, I one thing I don't understand is why you would go like if you go experimental hexplate, why you would then go stride breaker? Because you are you are doubling down on like bad stats, right? Because you don't want AD or attack speed on Shen. 
Um, so if you went, if you went hexplate, like bummies into hexplate, I can see that. Like I can honestly see that you get you get the ultimate haste. It makes sense, right? But but stride breaker afterwards doesn't make sense. I think I think it makes much more sense to just uh, go for. Example Hollow Radiance or like some kind of ability has to put Ionian Boots in there as well. But then you need some kind of resistances, otherwise you're gonna be quite useless. Like with Stride Breaker and Hexblade both, you're just buying two items that give you AD and HP. Whatever, I feel like I played that game really well, honestly. Like, okay, besides the last engage, and honestly, I don't think that's like that bad either. Because legit, my team doesn't need to come there. I have flash and everything. Like, I'm just trying to buy a little bit of time because enemies will push down bot lane, right? Uh, and if I don't buy time, then they're just gonna end the game, like, if we don't engage. So I'm just trying to buy a little bit of time. I can literally just E flash away, recall, and I have ulti, I'm back on full HP, all I lose is a flash at the maximum like i'm not in danger of dying but team wants to come there like I, I will say that was my only mistake legit like otherwise i think i played that pretty clean so i'm actually quite satisfied with that game i was just a little bit annoyed that i was like continuously like we were pinging elder drake right like we are gonna set up for elder drake we're gonna set up for elder drake we have two inhibitors taken and we have pushed the bot wave for last two minutes right and vein just needs to perma stay bot lane for some reason and then recalls 10 seconds before because oh you need item power spike yeah you're gonna be really useful with item power spike when <laughs> when we give enemy elder drake for free like Also, <laughs> legit jungle had a uh, jungle had three or four smite fights and lost all, but it happens. It happens. Not using Knights while active on Vayne was a mistake. What do you mean? I literally had it on Vayne. What are you talking about? <sighs> Sorry, I, I get tilted by chat. Is this not me having Night's Vow? The entirety of the duration that I have Night's Vow in my inventory. Like, I don't know if this is a bait comment or something. Like, it's just trying to tilt me. The entirety of the duration when I have Night's Vow in my, my inventory, I have it on Vayne. It's pointing at Vayne. I have used Night's Vow on Vayne. I have used Night's Vow on Vayne. I have 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 Night's Vow on Vayne. I have, I have, I have, I have, nah, bro. Like, he, he, he's gotta be trolling, bro. Yeah. 
Hey Peter, you mentioned a few times in YouTube video you don't love Sunfire and Moonfire. How, how come? I think they're OP, but I'm never played. Uh, I'm I, I I really think Sunfire is a bad item. I think Sunfire is a really bad item, but Moonfire, aka Hollow Radiance, is good, and it's gotten better because uh, I I think the build path for the Spectral Skull is better now since the changes. Because previously it was really difficult to get Spectral Skull, but now because it has a uh, rejuvenation bead in hell, uh, like the build path, then you can get it quite easily, because oftentimes you will need like a 700 gold recall, and if you have 700 gold you are building towards Hollow Radiance, all you can buy is one component and it's really bad. But now you can buy Ruby Crystal and uh, rejuvenation bead, so it's much better. Plus other uh, epic components got nerfed. Okay, I'm gonna need to calm down, calm down, calm down a little bit. I'm gonna go into yoga pose and sit on the ground and wait for Q-pop. I want to look at the play. <laughs> Let me show you guys. Look at this. Purchase Lucidity Boots, okay, Lucidity Boots are ult cooldown will be lower, Insta ult from base, Vayne is level 3, I'm level 6, count on Jinx, try to give Vayne kill, by the way, I tried to give Vayne kill, but she didn't want it because she wanted to go for Rel, so I will take kill afterwards, but I gave the opportunity for Vayne to get the kill, Vayne gets stunned up, one shot, okay, here, look, look, look guys, I could Insta Ignite Rel, I could Insta Ignite Rel, after one attack she would be dead, but I know because I have tier 2 boots, and she has tier 1 boots, that I can catch up to her. But because she gets W, now I can still get my one other like, off an Ignite. It's fine, but I had an opportunity to kill without Ignite, so I could save Ignite, right? Now, just don't give Rel... I mean, she doesn't have any way of living, okay? Play patient now. We know Talia has E, right? So if I want to E into Talia E, uh, I need to line it up so that I hit both in taunt, otherwise I will die during the duration. W first, and then I'm just gonna E, e into the E, because Rexa is coming, and I want both people to be taunted. I have no other good, uh, like, aggressive options. I could E, like, this way, but that way we don't have the E, like, aggressive potential, and Rexa probably can't make it in time. Kite out, get empowered Q, walk back in. I could flash on Talia, I was also thinking about this. I could insta flash on Talia, but since we have tier 2 boots, we can just walk up, okay? Afterwards, here, uh, I know, again, I can still flash, but because I have tier 2 boots, I can just keep moving. I was legit, like, this is what I'm thinking every time, like, these were the, like, four moments that I thought about flashing or igniting. But afterwards, we know Akshan is here. If I place a ward here, this will let me know his movement, because this, this side is easier to see, but the bush I cannot see, right? So I will go here, and then I can just move back and forth, try to mirror his movement, ring around the rosy. And then I know I have a passive shield and EQ up. Notice I don't insta W or insta Q because I have three empowered Qs left. I'm going to use all three empowered Qs. Afterwards, I get dragged through to reset passive cooldown. Then I use W, sidestep the second part of action Q, block double shot with W, then do another ring around the rosy, catch action, and then when I'm in danger of dying, I go away. And all this time we had minion wave in good position, and now team is in a good... Oh. Oh, bellissimo. I'm happy again, I'm happy again. Years of Shen practice actually means something. <laughs>
Efter Bernie Aatrox i fram topline. I think about double adaptive orange blade start. I mean, it's fun for low elo if you're in the good matchup, but it's legit not good. Like, scaling HP is really OP on Shen, and orange shield is really OP. You don't make use of the AD as well as you. Like, I'm gonna be honest, like, this, this is the actual, like, um, wait. Actually, no, actually Twist of Fate is fine for me. Hmm, it's Talia. Hmm. Do I want to play rather into Talia mid lane? Or Twist of Fate top lane? Yes, Conqueror. Who is your least favorite champion to get matched against? Aatrox top lane is... Yeah, that's why I ban it. Let's go Alkaline Edge. Finally learned how to integrate. That's my goal right there. Let's go, man. Keep it up. It is indeed 2x plus c. Asking for a chance to switch lanes with someone who does both almost always ends with a terrible loss. Yeah, I can see that. But not this one. But these are, I mean, okay, I won't say they're like, wait, is this same guy as, I feel like I saw this game, name in last game. This is going to be my last game, by the way. We're going to make it a good one. It's gonna go top lane. Cassiopeia is not so good into AD Twisted Fate, I assume. Do I start E or Q in this matchup? Hmm. E or Q, what do you think? 
I think maybe Q. He would have followed up with an auto attack, so my shield actually blocks damage there. It's hypothetical damage, but it is block damage. Conqueror is interesting. I haven't seen Conqueror Twister Fate. Always been Tempo. Maybe East Lap was better actually. I couldn't get into range. Gonna hit level 2 first. Actually. Actually, guy is just dead. And wave is in good position for me. I forgot to ping the wards, that's my bad. Double scale into Q so that I get that minion. Obviously you want W in this matchup, but I'm gonna get it later. Oh. My bad. I thought the kind of minion will live for one more other look. I can't block red card, but I can block gold and blue. Red card acts as AoE spell, so it will go through my W. Important to get movement speed in this matchup. Taking a lot of damage here. Ah, oh, I should have casted E into this. Damn. Blocked it. It's really bad. I would have chunked him so hard if I got my E through his gold card. But it's okay. Just one minor mistake. I mean, it's a major mistake actually. I would have punished him so hard. I think you just have to E a little bit earlier because he can choose the guard in, uh, card in town duration anyways and he's forced to use it then. I tried to go for it. I'm not gonna take damage for these minions, it's whatever. I don't have any defensive abilities except Q passive. Wave is gonna start pushing towards me, this is good. top lane. Udur should maybe help push. I need to go directly to top lane. Wait, this good for us.
Well played. Saved Cassiopeia with W. I blocked one other deck. It wasn't the gold card, but I blocked one other deck. Or actually, I didn't. Actually, I didn't. It was just down. That's really good. Uh, finish Lucidity Boots 600 plus I need 1400. I'm gonna recall in super awkward position here, but it's worth for me. Here in this matchup is super important, like I say here, always match or exceed opponent's movement speed. In a matchup like Twisted Fate is super important, otherwise you can't play because he will always be able to outspace. This looks traditionally like very bad recall, but I will show you why it's good. He would have had more movement speed than me if I stay in lane, and that means he can set up like he has priority to do whatever he wants. But now, even though I lose a lot of minions, I, I am now recalled and I can like I can really like punish him. Look, I have, I have full agency in this lane. It's gonna do a slow push here. Always stay for one more. Because he's gonna think you go outside of the range and then he's gonna auto attack again. But then you block the auto attack and then you move out of range. Because he's not ready to auto attack again. I want to get uh, wave shoved in ideally for ultimate. Conqueror stack stacks through my W. I missed again. Damn. This guy's having good dodges. I, damn. I mean that was the first one that I really missed. I think I'm dead here. Damn. That's really bad by me. He had good movement. Uh, the wave was the wave ended up in a bad position. I guess my recall was bad. That's really punishing for me. Now Twist the Fate gets a good recall. I don't really have any play to make with my ultimate. Damn, that's really bad, man. Oh, wait. <sighs> I screwed it up. Top lane is so punishing. You make one mistake and it just like cost you the entire match. That's how it feels like anyways. Mid lane, it doesn't matter so much. I don't think it's worth... I mean, okay, look. I could have flashed outside of... Twist the fate gold card range. But mm. oh, it sucks man. It sucks really bad. This guy's gonna have a level up on me now. Bad ultimate. It's not what I meant. Like Nyla didn't need to go in. I'm gonna lose everything top. Cherry ult. Like I can do this roam from mid lane, but when I'm playing top lane, I can't because now Twist the Fate will get the entire tower. But I'm gonna commit on it anyways. I don't there so that he can't get W's. My team got flash as well. <laughs>
I might be able to crank in one more game after this. Let's see. is pushing, so I'm just looking for a roam here, I think. Technala beats that. Good. W longer. I got both sums. Yep. Star recall is probably by my, my best option. This is probably Varded, so I might get cancelled by Yana Tornado. Fate relax, bro. I screwed up. I should have held my auto attack for longer. And I can't block it because Riot Games. decided to stay with 0 HP. We're looking at the recall here. Notice my patience on ultimate. I could ult Senna earlier, but she's not actually in danger of dying. So I rather recall, finish my dead man's plate. So now Dead Man's Blade movement speed will allow me to catch up into Twister Fate when I actually ult after the recoil. Dead Man's Blade is such a good item. I've been sleeping on it for a long time, but it's, it's super good on Shen. Like honestly, I think it's like his best item maybe. Every auto, every auto that I get, by the way, 30 damage from Dead Man's Blade here, literally. This takes 30% reduced damage. It's just like it, it, this item gives you 30 AD. 
on top of the movement speed and everything. This is doomed from the start. Barry's top side. He has ultimate. Nah, I couldn't E-flash because... I need to dodge her W. Cancel her ulti. I can't ult at this HP. Enemies legendary. Okay, Zeri chilling at legendary again. Classic. Blade for you, bro. Hey, Suge Kamel got killed. Gets good. He's strong. I don't want to take experience here. this so they can't use it aggressively. I would have eat for that minion but since I'm in danger of possibly dying here I would not do it. Walking back to get the 30 experience from the range minion. on this. Yes, ghost. If I miss down, I'm dead. Have to be careful here. Just wanna get my item. Use auto attack on the range minion instead. 
because I want to use Dead Man's Blade damage optimally. Play four seconds, please. Way <sighs> the Janna man. Like the Zeri was just outside of the Nyla engage. Like that was really crazy. Like did you see the potential? Like in my mind, like we should be able to get the three man Nyla ultimate into taunt. Like I think it's a good play to try to go for that. We had really great engage setup there. But the enemies like I think it was Janna Insta ulti or something. Uh that stopped the three man Nyla ultimate. It would have been good, legit. Like this, this is more like an assassin champion, it's not, not normal ADC. But I think it's a good good play to try to go for that. It just didn't work out this time. I hit the Zeri with taunt as well, but she managed to live because of uh, her shield stealing and Janna E. I don't know. It was a nice attempt and we got Dragon, so it's fine. I <laughs> hear this word. Janna will come to clear this, but I can't contest. Wait, why? If you could play with my ultimate, please. Maybe he's... Maybe he's fake. Maybe Udor is fake. He lives. Is Baron gone or can we contest? I can't fight Zeri, I legit can't fight Zeri. I'm gonna get energy from Booba. Yes. I missed the count. My flash was bad. I really missed the Zeri taunt, it's bad. Cassiopeia would have lived, but I didn't realize she has wall jump again. I think Anathema on Zeri is actually not bad this game. But... Oops. Mm, but I can also just go Varden Smell. Do I need tenacity? I don't think I do. Go oh, badness, man. First time catching a stream, it's 2.30 in Oregon right now. Huge fan of yours. You brought so much joy to my life in ways beyond just this game. <laughs> Muscle Dad, thank you very much for that comment. Very obnoxiously positive even. In a good way, I mean. Thank you very much. I kind of want a side lane, but I don't have ult yet, and my team has shown a tendency to fight. I mean, not badly. Actually, the Udor is just, is just limit testing a little bit.
Even though Nyla's score is bad, she has still like a lot of farm. a little bit but I think we are mean this. Sinna goes for something. I don't know. He can just go for break. They have they have blasting con. Run, run Sinna, run. Maybe can end. We will go break. I know this Udur player is like he's quite good, as you can see in this game, but he he, he won't make a bad decision, I don't think. But the macro game in this game is like a, such a step up from last game, on our team at least. You do this. I think it's worth. They have TF and they have Zeri. Unless uh, in trouble. Might have to look mid lane. But most likely Talia can escape with wall actually. Hmm. <laughs> They're just somehow always living, even though it looks like I mean we had two meat bags on top of him, but not gonna result in a kill. I see if I get stopped both man. I have to be careful here. Do I need more magic resist. Maybe just help. I could like try to e-flash Tali a kill, but the kill doesn't mean anything, so I'm not gonna waste flash for that. Only kill that matters since a Zeri in a team fight.
force him out so he can't clear the wave. Nice. Two to eighteen. Insane scoreline for Sam, by the way. I can I can we can go we can go one more game if we go fast. Straight into Q. Hello man, I come from YouTube. I don't really play League, but I like your videos and commentary a lot. Very calming and interesting. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Dedex. Teo Kiral, thanks for the reverse and subscription on YouTube. And thank you everyone else who has subscribed to this stream. I'm just trying to focus on the gameplay, so that's why I'm not reading them aloud, but uh, just know from the bottom of my heart that I do appreciate your financial contributions. And also the moral support. That is important. Is it true that all Finnish people drink coffee? Uh, no, because I am the exception. I mean, I can uh, like recreatively drink coffee if I want to have, you know, like a coffee with my friends. But I, I really limit my caffeine intake. If I take caffeine, it's in the form of black tea usually, and before, before one one p.m. Or like around lunchtime is the latest I will go for tea even. Um, I found that I have no requirement for caffeine if I don't consume it on a regular basis. And it tends to disrupt my sleep if I consume it after lunch. Very small sample size, but seems like top shen, mid shen. Not true. <laughs> Legit not true. Mid shen is better. If you want larger sample size, uh, I just posted on my Discord yesterday, win-loss for mid and top lane in my past 40 games. Uh, and it was top lane 11 wins, 9 losses, and mid lane 13 wins, 5 losses. So that's 40 game sample size. There were two jungle games as well, one loss, one win. But mid lane for me seems stronger role because you can circumvent counter picks. Am I correct to assume your first item finish will always be one that helps with wave clear, titanic hollow, etc? Uh, not entirely. Um, right now the build I'm going for is dead man's blade or hollow radiance first, depending on the matchup. So I will fit my item towards the opponent's uh, source of damage. So if they're doing physical damage, um, I will go dead man's blade first item. If they're doing magic damage, I will go hollow radiance first item. And Yeah, Dead Man's Blade helps with wave clear. Like you have to think that this item has plus 30 AD written on it, or even plus 40 in some situations.
I don't know, man. I, I feel like a lot of people in my chats, they don't think Shenmue is good. They legit don't think Shenmue is good. But, like, uh, you, are, you, are, you can have so much impact on the game. Like, if you're really good at macro game, like, mid is such a great role. Because you can legit choose how the game goes. But it's also personal preference, and I feel like it's high low skewed. Like, you need to understand why Shen mid lane is good. You can't just play it like a normal mid laner and go mid lane and farm. That's not how you play it. Pepe, how are you doing, brother? One question. Is your mobile fire still up to date? It's, like, relatively up to date. Like, it has new items, but it's not reflecting my, like latest opinion, like latest patch opinion, but it's because I want to formalize my opinion before putting it out there. Interesting, I'd expect Shen top to do better since ult is global anyways, why do you think Shen mid had higher win rate in that larger sample size? Because for the aforementioned reasons, Shen, Shen mid has more control over the game, you're less punished for ulting, which is your primary duty anyways. In top lane, you're extremely punished for ulting. Like the top lane is top lane is not suited for ulting because the enemy will get so many tower get so many tower platings normally. And um like I said you can get counter pick for your top laner. Also top lane champions are better targets for Shen Ultimate. So imagine like which is a better target for Shen Ultimate? A Velkos and Oriana uh a Azir, for example, Azir is pretty good, but still. Or you have Camille, Fiora, Aatrox, all these champions that are kind of like divers or go in, those are good Shen Ultimate targets. So if you have more good targets on your team, Shen Ultimate will be more valuable. Calling into headquarters. Expect to go on. I'm his dad in real life. Damn, I didn't know my dad was in high low. He plays League, but he's been grinding on Secret Smurf account. Unfortunately, he's come to Cucumber. Uh, last... <laughs> what, is what is this guy talking about? Man's yapping. Blood's yapping really bad. Probably the support wants to pick here, or no? What, what's bloody up in about? Okay, this is good. Now they think I'm Shen top line, right? So they will pick accordingly. Bro, can you stop impersonating my son? Uh, go open my stream. I mean, your son's stream. <laughs> what is this bro? Okay. <laughs> but 
<laughs> this blood just keeps yapping about something. Man, I ain't got a lot of shot. I paid all my child support. So what is this? <laughs> what is he talking about? Sorry on a matchup can be difficult, but I've managed it before. They have Master Yi with Ghost, Lethal Tempo, that guy can be a problem. Darius is always a problem as well. Mm. Oriana cannot play top lane though, so they can't swap. Vex, Vex is a difficult matchup for sure. I, I, I think Rise is quite easy matchup for Shen mid lane actually. You you start E level 1, you stack Grasp on wave, you E on top of him, he will not expect it, you will take half his HP. Uh, and you can do this on off. Like, uh, but Vex is much di more difficult because Vex can stop your dashes. This is why I don't have chat on, by the way, in 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 game because like people like this are just they're just going on about something and it's not really relevant for winning the game. <sighs> Come on, load, load. Who has toaster PC? Okay, back in the days, I don't know if you played League back then, guys, but uh, we used to have, like, um, like, person, like, wait, like, champion-specific or, or player-specific loading bars. So you could always see who had the toaster PC, right? So here we would see, for example, that Leona is still 50% loading in, everyone else is at 100, and then we lo when you loaded into game, they would, like, type in all chat, like, nice, Leona toaster PC, had to wait five minutes for loading screen. Hey, that's most league moment, man. <laughs> like back in 2013, me loading up with my 20 frames per second computer and I get flamed for causing the loading screen to go longer. I think E start is good in the Orion as well. Hi Petu, my heart wants to believe you're a cat person, but my head says you're a dog person. Which one? I've never had a pet, so I don't know if I'm qualified to answer that question. But I I, I consider myself a dog person. Um, I think I appreciate like... I mean, this is a little bit, again, like... A little bit weird. I mean, I don't know what my stance on pets is in general. Like, I think animals are supposed to live free, right? But I guess, like, animals can have good life in a family as well. But it's still a bit weird, I think. Um, but I would say I'm a dog person. Cats are like... Cats are a little bit... A little bit evil, and they always scratch you. But I like, you know, running and I like doing sports. And I, I've done that with dogs as well, and that's fine. Yeah, I will go e-start. It's a good trade. It's a winner. That's worth.
You're fine. You won't have Q. Ouch. Don't think I've got hit by the Q, just the W. Okay, someone are disconnected is always good. E there to get passive shield. Dodge the auto attack. I didn't have enough damage for that minion, so I just let it die. Hmm. Senna dying level 1 going AFK will make this game a little bit more difficult. Just protect. Okay, I've reconnected, that's good. We're in a good position here. We're gonna force our TP soon. I'm gonna help potion. wants to TP now, because no mana. I'm not gonna trade, but I might stop her ego. This way she has to stay. Wait, I just died. <laughs> there were too many minions hitting me. Nah, man. That sucks. Wait. Hello? Nice level 2. Ah, oh, bro, she's gonna die to minions as well. I mean, the idea was good there. Legit, the idea on me was good. I mean, I guess I could... Ah, oh, man. I should have thinned out the minion wave a little bit more. Like, it lo it looks really int, guys. It looks really int, but legit, like, my idea was good. Like, I was actually playing that well. But it was just, I should have thinned out the minion wave a little bit more so that I could take the minion damage. It's a little bit sad that it ended up like that, but I'm actually not, like, upset about it. Because I think the play was good in, in like, the idea. Every lane losing, though, happens. <laughs>
There's no ulti, no flash. I don't want to take too much damage from Orion here. <laughs> Wait, guys, why is Darius 3 levels up my Kale? Kale picked into Darius, by the way. I guess you don't always get counter picked up lane. Say that. Thirty seconds to ignite, then I can kill. That's that it. Nice. Things can take the farm. That's fine. I didn't realize he's gonna fight, I need to save Kale. Things to get the farm. You see, guys, this Grandmaster Orion in the mid lane. Now I know I died once, but if I played this better, this matchup, like I, I would be two one and two. Like it's not, it's not bad matchup.
Can we kill this guy in any way? Oh. Damn, that's really in by me. Commander, the. Ah, yeah, it's my mistake. Have Q. Okay, it just stops playing. Okay, that guy's fed. It's very weird that they can dive this, but I guess they can. Dead. No, we are forcing so bad. We're just forcing random plays. I'm not allowed to play the game normally. Out of the cancel. Okay, nice. Oh, this is not normal. <laughs> like, why did Volibear ult over the wall? Like, just ult on top of her, it deals 500 physical damage. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my flash was like one second off. I could have killed fla with flash earlier, but afterwards her HP region got her to health point where my flash auto attack doesn't kill anymore. Kale. Game is always winnable with Kale.
need armor soon. Give him heal. Normal that he can just solo it. That's my bad. Lost it. If you get Drake, it's actually fine. I mean, I should never assume that I can hit mastery at max range taunt with him having everything up. It's, it's my bad. I just felt like we need to stop that somehow, but maybe I should be more patient actually. The thing is that we are, like, our position is not getting any better by waiting there. Because Wallet Bear was half HP and hasn't bought items yet, and I haven't bought items either. We're gonna get inhib here, I think. Maybe two. Try to defend mid lane, maybe. Don't take inhib here. Okay, I should get all the farm. We're still fine. We gotta wait out the baron. Try to end, that's a problem. I won't trade out attacks with this guy. Can I even defend this? He 
give that kill on purpose? I don't understand. I did my split on my split tarax. Try to save Nexus Tower. I think we are winning this game. I want to get vision see who they have there. Get HP and then ult. Mastery might try to kill, okay. I need to ult that just in case. They might still try to rush Baron here. I need to be careful. They're nice behind me.
now we lost the game. Why do we have to do this? We got four man Darius hooked. We had won the game already. We legit had won the game. Ah. We didn't need to do that. Oh, I don't understand. Okay, well, I'll just have to stop there. Unfortunate. We should have won two games already out of the losses, like just based on macro. Sucks. It is what it is. Man. I made some mistakes. If I played better, we would have won this game, definitely. Yep, that's it for today. Now I gotta go now. Uh, I'll see you guys in, in the next live stream or video. Bye bye.